Hello everybody and welcome to English Grammar with Omeya sir and in today's video we are going to discuss change of voice and uh, the part that we are going to deal with in detail is this part here being and being because that's the one area where students even scholar students go wrong and uh, the point is not about making the choice between being and being it's about when to use being when is it that you have to understand that it's been to be used or it's being to be used so let's get started immediately i would want you to have a pen and paper uh, for the necessary notes if you want you can pause the video and then you can resume all right assuming you are ready let's start with an example okay we are going to deal with being first and then move to being and uh, one piece of uh, important tip is that you have to watch out for words like has, have, and had. That is a perfect tense. Whether this doesn't matter whether it is present perfect or past perfect. Watch out for words has, have, had. And then you have to remember to use been. Let's get started with the first example. The hunter had killed the lion. I'll say it again. The hunter had killed the lion. Now, um, important to remember that you have always have to start the answer the passive voice after the action word so over here the action word is kill and you have to begin your answer after that now this is regardless of the arrangement of the sentence change the voice is normally always assumed uh, as the last thing is written first the first thing goes last that's not always the case we'll see some uh, examples to after this but just remember, start after the action word. Over here, the action word is killed. And so, let us consider the following options. Would you say, in that case, the lion was killed by the hunter is the answer, or the lion had been killed by the hunter? Over here, the right answer is the lion had been killed by the hunter. And the reason is very simple. I'd ask to watch for the words has, have, had. You remember? So when you have the perfect tense, you have to remember that it cannot be was killed. Now you have to be honest here. Ask yourself, before this point was discussed, most of you would have gone inadvertently, okay? You, unintentionally, you might have gone for the first one. But the correct answer is lion. The lion had been killed by the hunter because you have had in the example. Now, had changes to had been and not being we'll discuss being later on we've already talked about how was is wrong because it is past tense all right but this past perfect it's not simple past tense okay um let's consider one more example the authorities had asked him to show the passport i repeat the authorities had asked him to show the passport now remember my advice always start after the action word told you that in the last slide as well so consider the following options number one to show the passport had been told to him by the authorities he was asked to show the passport by the authorities or is it third option he had been asked to show the passport by the authorities now i'm sure you understood uh, by now how to deal with it the third option is right he had been asked to show the passport by the authorities notice here the action word is asked and the action word is not to show because there is infinitive to show i repeat what i said this is very important because if you say start after the action word well you might have thought show is the action word no show is to show in the infinitive form that's not verb the verb here is had asked making it past perfect now one more thing to remember here is that uh the last thing first the first thing last example that uh, i've talked about so here it is wrong to start with to show the passport okay it's not fair to say to show the passport uh he, he had been told by so that is typically going wrong with that thing it's not last thing first and first thing last in change the voice that's a that's why this example is of high value okay let's proceed then to the next one um here we have the teacher has corrected all the answer papers the teacher has corrected all the answer papers now what happens here um over here again my first piece of advice will be to remember that you have to start after the action word 
and the following options you can consider number one all the answer papers has been corrected by the teacher all the answer papers have been corrected by the teacher uh, the second option is right all the answer papers have been corrected by the teacher the reason why this is right is uh, you might be wondering hey we had has in the question right yes we had has in the question because it was singular the teacher and now in the answer we have all the answer papers so when we talk of all the answer papers we are talking about a plural here all the answer papers now you cannot say all the answer papers has all the answer papers have okay so again the point to note here is that we use has for singular and we use have for plural the exception is i now i is singular isn't it? me but then it's always i have and not i has that's one exception to remember but otherwise has is used for singular and have is used for plural in the past tense is had regardless of singular plural now next one I think we'll now proceed to being. So consider the following example. He is driving a brand new car on the highway. He is driving a brand new car on the highway. Now over here again my piece of advice is to begin with uh, that we have to start after the action word which over here is driving. Is driving. So it's present continuous. Now here to note that when you have ing in the question then you go for ing here as well so ing becomes being so far in the past perfect present perfect we have been using been if you remember now you have ing here driving then you go for being you start after the action word which is driving so consider the following option one on the highway a brand new car is being driven by him the second option, a brand new car is being driven on the highway by him. So, the second option is perfect. A brand new car, you start after driving, right? A brand new car is being driven on the highway by him. Remember to put that by part at the end. The doer is put at the end. That is always theoretically perfect, okay? Um, one more point to notice, yes, we use being here, but that being is always used with a past participle. In this case, drive, drove, and driven is a past participle. So I've used driven here, as you can see. Point to note again, before we move to the next slide, being is used when you have ing in the question, and you use past participle with it, which in this case was driven. Let's consider the next example. She is giving out the entry forms to the children. She is giving out the entry forms to the children. Now, mind you, children is already plural. It is heavenly wrong to say children's, okay? Children's, public's, people's. You don't say those things. Children is already plural of child. Child being singular, children, many children. She is giving out the entry forms to the children. Always my first piece of advice, start after the action word over here, action is to give out the form so giving out is the action over here so consider the following options to the children the entry forms are being given by her the entry forms is being given out to the children by her the entry forms are being given out by her to the children or is it number four the entry forms are being given out to the children by her hmm, there are four options to consider well the fourth option is right here the reason is, I've told you to put the by part at the end. With the third one, that is exactly the problem here. By her to the children. You must put the doer. She was doing it, right? So that by her part should be put at the end. What is wrong with the second one? The entry forms is, no. The entry forms, you're talking about plural. So the entry forms are. You cannot say entry forms is. It's not one form. Forms. So that's the problem and the first one is typical example of how it is not last thing first, first things last and change the voice because to the children was the ending. So that doesn't become necessarily the start of the answer for change the voice. Point to be noted. I'm sure that you perfectly understood by now. We have to begin after the action word. All right. Um, are is used with plural and is is used with a singular. In this case, that's exactly the what was the problem with the second one. The entry forms is. Now, let us recap what we started in this video before we conclude. First one, always start after the action word. Notice it correctly. Use been in case of has, 
have or had that is the perfect tenses going back to number one in one of those examples beautiful examples we saw that with the infinitive to show that is not the action okay that's not considered as action okay number three we have to use has for singular and we must remember to use have for plural the exception is i i is single but you say i have you don't say i has never do you say i has it's always i have Fourth point, had always changes to had been. Uh, singular plural doesn't affect had. Use being in case of ing forms and then follow it with a past participle. Remember in our example, drive, drove, driven. And uh, put the by part at the end. Put the doer, place the doer at the end. And finally, as I always say, thank you so much for watching. Keep studying, keep enjoying, keep getting better at English. Please do leave your comments, your suggestions and your general opinion about the video if it's helping you out. And you can request uh, for more such videos on any topic that you want. And thank you so much. Up until next time. Bye-bye.